Once upon a time, a very long time ago, there lived a wise old man named Finnegus. Finnegus was a stargazer and a poet, and he knew a great many things about the universe. He was getting old now, however, and needed some help with cooking and gardening and hunting for food. A young boy named Fionn was sent to live with Finnegus so that he could help out and also learn about all the things that the wise man knew. Fionn was a very lively, happy boy and he loved helping Finnegus with the cleaning and cooking and gardening and hunting for food. He also loved to ask Finnegus a million and one questions. The old man was not able to answer all of Fionn's questions. So curious and intelligent was the boy. For many years now, Finnegus had been fishing in the sacred river, trying to catch a very special fish. This fish was the salmon of knowledge, who lived in a deep, dark pool, eating the nuts of wisdom that fell from the hazel trees. Finnegus knew that if he caught and ate the salmon of knowledge, he would have all the wisdom in the whole wide world. Maybe then he could answer all of Fionn's many difficult questions. One day, Finnegus managed to catch the salmon of knowledge. He was very excited. He told Fionn to light the fire and to cook the fish, and Fionn did as he was asked. He built a large fire and began to slowly and carefully cook the fish. Finnegus watched over him. You must not eat any of it, he told Fionn. Bring it to me as soon as it's ready. But Finnegus was very old, and as the warm afternoon passed, he slowly fell asleep. Fionn continued to carefully watch over the fish as it cooked. It's almost ready, he thought. Finnegus will be pleased. Just then, Fionn noticed a big blister had started to form on the skin of the fish. Oh no, he thought to himself, this will spoil the beautiful fish. Without thinking, he put out his thumb and burst the blister. But oh, how it burned his finger. Immediately, he put his thumb into his mouth to cool the burn. By now, the fish was perfectly cooked and Fionn put it onto a plate to serve to Finnegus. Very gently, he woke the old man and served him his food. Finnegus was very happy and quickly began to eat the fish. After a few mouthfuls, however, Finnegus stopped eating. He knew that something was wrong. He felt the same as ever, no more and no less wise than before. He asked Fionn, did you eat some of this fish? No, answered Fionn. Well, asked Finnegus, did you touch the fish at all while it was cooking? Fionn became very quiet. A blister grew on its skin, he told Finnegus, and I burst it with my thumb. And you put your thumb into your mouth, said Finnegus. Yes, I did, said Fionn. It was very sore. Finnegus pushed away his plate and smiled kindly towards Fionn. Ah, he said, I see. The old man's face was gentle. He said to Fionn, it is you, my boy, who has received the gift of all wisdom from the salmon of knowledge. Fionn suddenly understood. He looked up at the wide, bright sky. He could understand now the patterns of the sun and the moon and all the whirling planets. He knew at once all the habits of birds and plants and every living creature. He could see into the past and the future. Finnegas said to him, There is nothing more I can teach you, Fionn. You are now the wisest one of us all. Fionn stayed with Finnegas until the night was dark and the sky was filled with stars. They listened to the river and spoke together until the sun began to rise. Then Fionn stood up 
and said goodbye to his old friend Finnegus and went away into the wide world to have many great adventures. <laughs> <laughs>